and towards Greece, towards the bay down there, we can see two more boats arriving on shore. Look at that. There's a child there at the front of the boat. She's about seven or eight years old. I don't think any of those people there realise just how dangerous this is. So close to Greece, but their engine has failed. And there's an argument now about what to do. It shows you that these people aren't professionals. They don't know the seas. And that's why so many are dying in this, this narrow sea between Turkey and Greece. And this is what it's all about, reaching Europe. As these people were crossing, they were shouting Syria. They were cheering, they were screaming as soon as they touched down on Greek soil. But this is just the beginning of the journey. They go on from here and to try to begin their lives again. Since the European refugee crisis escalated in 2015, the Salvation Army has been responding to the needs of these vulnerable people across Europe. The numbers are unprecedented. The International Organisation for Migration reports that more than a million refugees arrived in southern Europe in 2015 alone. And data already collected for 2016 suggests this number could be more than doubled by the end of this year. The majority of refugees land in Europe in Greece or Italy. In the Greek capital, the Salvation Army's work began simply with Athens Corps officers, Majors Polis and Maria, visiting refugee camps in the city's parks. Team members have since distributed tens of thousands of sandwiches and countless cartons of milk and bottled water. Other essential supplies, such as clothes, nappies, baby wipes and hygiene products, have been given out in large numbers. Meanwhile, the scale of the response has meant that a dedicated daycare centre and warehouse have been opened in Athens. Winter coats, scarves, socks and hats were made available to families who had fled from warmer countries with nothing. The Salvation Army in Italy is accommodating and supporting asylum seekers in a hostel in Rome and at Atena Lucana, where up to 50 refugees are being supported by qualified and experienced staff. A full care and integration programme has been developed, ensuring that refugees also have time to express their own cultural identity. The General Secretary for the Salvation Army's Italy and Greece Command is Major David Cavanna. The big challenge at the moment is very much um, immigration. Last year, a, nearly a million people came into Europe via the Mediterranean and 97% of those were in Italy and Greece. Most of these people have come in imagining that they'll find the streets paved with gold in Europe and of course that's not the reality. Language and culture are enormously different so there's a huge gap between their expectations and between the expectations of the families who they have left behind to expect them to immediately be able to integrate and, uh, and start earning and send money back. So we are working extremely hard on cultural integration. The programmes that we run include language classes, um, cultural mediation. We have a series of workshops such as sewing, information technology, um, teaching people basic work skills for cooking and waitering, for instance. And the Salvation Army's work continues, not just in Greece and Italy, but in towns and cities the length and breadth of the continent. Find out more about the Salvation Army's Europe-wide refugee response and how you can support it at sar.my slash Europe Refugees.